Welcome back, everybody. Happy October. It is October 20th, 2023. And if you're getting your Halloween show set up, we wish you the best of luck. If you're working on your Christmas show and you're getting things set up, we wish you the best of luck as well. Guys, we've got a Twinkle Tips Friday video. This is a rather good one, I think. And uh, there's some options in X-Lights that I don't think people know about, and I want to share them with you today. Let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get rolling, guys. So what I want to do today, just kind of like what the video uh, like, like thumbnail says is, you know, kind of magical, magical copy and paste of, of your of your submodels, of your faces, of your states effect and some things that maybe uh, will help you as you've already created your layout, you've downloaded your models, things are in X lights already. Um, I want to be able to share some shortcuts that can help you, things that are built into X lights uh, that I am extremely grateful for because the developers went out of their way to add this stuff in. To get started with, what you see here is I, I want you to imagine that you've got a whole layout on your sh uh, show and you've downloaded your models or you've created models. So for example, this wreath here, this is a homemade wreath. Um, and, and some of these homemade wreaths, some of these homemade props that you make, you want to create your own submodels on. Well, I want to share with you how you can copy the submodels from one into the next three. Now, there's also this function that is built in that allows us to do the, the same thing with the singing faces and the same thing with the states effects. So we're going to go through these step by step by step, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways to go about it. So the first thing I really want to do is uh, there, there's two ways to do an import. So we can do the initial import by, so for example, if I open this up, you can see there's some submodels here. We got ring one, ring number two, ring number three, and we have this bow. We'll go in here to the submodels, and I wanna show you this real quick because if you have a model within a model, and you want to be able to apply effects to them, I highly recommend, for example, I have the bow here, and I want I want the bow to act as if it's its own model. In other words, it's its own, uh, you know, make a sub-model into a model. And uh, X-Lights can do that now. It has a keep XY buffer style. So I highly recommend any model that you want to be able to apply effects to to make them go left and right, up and down, like what the with the bars effect, any of the other effects. What I want you to do is I want you to try using the keep XY. What it will do is it'll it'll keep those effects from uh, going in a straight line across the, the model as opposed to looking like the way you think they should look like with the bars or let's say the, the butterfly or something like that. So that's step number one. You've created your submodels. Um, and I've done other videos. You can go ahead and look up here. I'll put a link up here to the submodel video creation. Uh, we'll go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the model. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to export this X Lights model. Now, why am I going to export a model? Well, because there's a wealth of information in the model and you can carry it through to the other model in very, very quickly. So we'll go ahead and click. I'm just going to leave it the name here, save it. And it's right in my X Lights directory by default. It's it's in there. The first way that you can copy the data from your first sub model, uh, from your first model of subs into your second model for subs, you can go into the sub model dialog box to the second prop. Now keep in mind these have to be wired exactly. So if you've got 30 snowflakes on your roof and 10 of them are the same, it'll work for only those 10. It's not going to work for all your snowflakes if they're wired differently, if they're different props. So keep in mind that's rule number one. So when we go to import these submodels, we have a couple options. We'll go into the submodel dialog. We will now, now this is the second read. There's no submodels in here. We can we can manually add them in on our own one by one, or we can use the import function. Now the first thing that you'll see when we hit the import function is down here in the bottom. It says import submodels from a model. And we'll go ahead and select that. Now off of this list, you need to know the name of the prop. Uh, and, and we know obviously wreath number one is the wreath that had the submodels in it. So if we click wreath number one, we get a checkbox with all of the submodels that are in the one existing. And we can click OK. And so now what we've effectively done is we have effectively brought in all of our submodels and the bow, and it says keep XY. 
So it saved the submodels for us. Now, if you have a really long list to scroll through for your show, let's say you have 100 models. That's a lot of scrolling to go through for some people. This is the other way that you can import your submodel data. And we can go back down here into submodels, open up the dialog, and we can click the import and from this screen, we can hit import submodels from a file. Now, remember that file that we exported. We can click that model because it's right here in our default uh, show directory. Click open, and the same thing shows up here. Select models to import or submodels to import, and just have a checkbox in all of them there. If you right click, I think you can hit select all or deselect or uh, select highlighted. Let's say let's let's deselect all. Let's select the highlighted. Right click select highlighted so it only picked up the one well but we want them all in there so select all we'll click ok and bam that's as simple as it is if you are using the exact same pre-wired model or the same snowflake or the same spinner and you've already got these up on the house you're certainly not going to want to go back and um uh, and 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 have to redraw out all of those submodels individually. Now you have this tool that's been added in. Now that same tool is found exactly in not just the submodels, but the uh, but the faces dialog. So if we go into the faces, now I have the the coro singing bulb here. If I open this up, what I've done is I've taken the time and I have created a couple different bulbs. I've got Mr. Blue Bulb. He's blue with a yellow or with a gold, you know. Uh, little uh, spiral cap there and then you got mr. green bulb well he doesn't look very green well oh he, he does I guess there's a refresh issue uh, but he's green there and then if we change to pink bulb we click on it there's pink I, that must be a refresh issue so uh, but we have him forced to have f custom colors so I went through and I colored these the way that I wanted them uh, oh there it works now uh, and then you got a red bulb right so all of your bulbs, if they're the exact same singing bulb, you can use this exact same method to importing. So first of all, again, right click, export XLights model. You can click save. It can be the default name, whatever the default name was. We can come here and we can hit the faces effect. We can come in. There's Now there's no faces. There's nothing in here, nothing up my sleeve. We'll click um, the three dots here. We'll import from a model, and then there's your import from a file. So we want to go to the Chroma Bulb 64 Hanging Old. That was the number one there. And that brought in all of the phase definitions for him. Um, and then if you want to do it the other way, which I, th I think in some instances this may be quicker. It depends on what you like. Import from a file. You can select it from the import from a file because you exported the file. So, and I bet... I bet uh, you're wondering why would you need so many different face uh, uh, face definitions. Well, we did a video on that as well. You can watch that other video, uh, and I show you how to build these. So it's it's really fun to create and take what we've already kind of walked you through before and take it to the next level. And how do you apply this across some of the different models that you already have in your show? Now, finally, if you use the states effect, and what what's the states effect? Uh, this it's not really. Uh, a, a mystery what the states effect is it's what it does it sets all of the pixels to be a specific state to to be in a state of of on and each pixel gets colored a way that you want it to be colored if that's what you so desire so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the holly berry as you see here we'll hit the states we'll go into the dialogue and you can see I created this holly uh, the, this holly kind of definition and you can see if if you do kind of to your show let's say let's say you do a static look to your show like a here's one minute for you to take a picture and share this with your friends on social media or across the country hey this guy's house is here in our town and I came to see it and it looks score and it's a photo opportunity you could do a states effect on pretty much any of your props and uh, have them set so that people take take uh, pictures of it uh, during your show uh, during uh, in between shows or in between songs we'll say so I thought that this would be a good example a simple example of taking the holly berry and making a state out of it and you could apply that into a static sequence if you wanted or if you were trying to sequence it like you could sequence it like it's a dumb RGB prop uh, and have it just flash on and off and that would be interesting as well 
So let's go ahead and do do what we've been doing. Um, let's get right back to it. Let's let's um, make sure that we have this set up the way we want. We'll go ahead and click OK. We're going to right click on it after it's selected. Export X Lights model. Save it, and then we'll come into the other one, and we can go. Uh, oops, we can go into the states again. We can do the exact same thing. No states up my sleeve. And we can do the exact same thing again, import from a model. We can do it from the list right here. Now, it's easy to find on the list because it's right at the top. Uh, and you don't have to scroll through a, a, a list of things to find it. And there it is. It's as easy as that. If you had three, four, five, seven different states, that wouldn't matter. They would come right in. And you can also come over here and do it to the final one and do it very quickly using the import from file data. And boom, there you have it. So next week I want to get into um, creating groups with some of these things because I think if you create groups and you kind of uh, are still building your layout, it, knowing some of this stuff ahead of time is going to help you build your layout and prepare for when you're getting ready to sequence because that's an important part of just not just getting your show going but also getting your X-Lights layout prepared for you to begin mapping or sequencing or whatever it is that you're going to do. Guys, that's everything from me. Thank you for joining us this week in our Twinkle Tips Friday video. As always, every Tuesday night, we hold a, a PPD Zoom room. It's at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You are welcome to join us. This week is coming up. We're going to have a webinar. I, be, I haven't finalized the topic. If you have a topic, put it in the comments below. In fact, if you have any questions or if you have any other suggestions for videos, put those down there as well. We love to read the comments. I love to respond to the comments. And it's great having you guys visit us. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month. And on top of that, you get a choice of two other songs uh, as well. And we've been doing two new songs every month consistently for over a year now. So give us a chance. We, we could definitely program your show for you. And you can easily map all of our sequences into your home layout if you just follow a couple basic, simple, important rules. Guys, thank you for joining us. This is Clyde Lindsay signing out. We will see you next Twinkle Tips Friday. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.